What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Khalid the Pod, and I'm back with another video. As you guys know, all of the construction is going on at the house now. They're starting to uh, pull out all of the rock and dirt in order to uh, make way for the new drive. And I told you guys in the last video that one of the motorcycles had to be dropped off at Wakoto's for storage. I also asked you guys to uh, guess which one I was dropping off. Now, I was going to reveal it in the last video, but I decided to wait until this video. So, you have to watch both of them. But if you guess the booster, you're right. And the reason I'm dropping off the booster is because, not because I like the Beamer more than the booster, but the Beamer is a lot lighter than the Booster. So it's easier to maneuver if I actually want to go riding. And the location in which I'm storing the Beamer uh, inside my fence line, the Booster wouldn't fit, it was too wide. I couldn't actually get it through the gate. So, that's why I decided to drop the boost off instead of the Beamer. I forgot my SD card in this camera. I was actually going to get some two-way footage going, but I can't do it because I left the camera, I left the memory card sitting in my computer. It's a bummer. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Turn the post notification bell for all so you don't want to drop a new video. Share, like, comment, and all of that. I want to send a special shout out to my boy Adobo Boto. If you guys are hearing this, it's because he suggested a different microphone setup than what I was using. And it worked. I also want to send a special shout out to my boy Carter Allen. Yo, he's always on point. Always the first one to comment on my videos. Carter, I greatly appreciate you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. And I mean that sincerely. I, I appreciate all of you guys, but he's always the first one to comment. So I just want to give him a special shout out. But yeah, we're on the way up to the shop right now. I'm going to drop the booster off at Makoto's and then probably going to have to take the train back. It's either that or maybe four will bring me back. I'll see once I get there. But I got a lot of stuff to do because this afternoon, once Kudachan is finished, I'll probably start taking the tent down so I don't have so much to do tomorrow because I got to pull up that plywood floor as well. wasn't expecting him to start this weekend. He was actually supposed to start Monday. So it kind of threw a monkey wrench in my plans. But, you know, being in the military for 24 years, you know how to be nimble. You, you, you move, you go with the flow. It's like water. We call it simple gumby. So we always got to be flexible. So I'll just bend my schedule around here and make sure I get my stuff done. He's not in my way. I'm not in his way. Everything will be taken care of and we're good. Alright, let's go. I haven't been on my bike in about a week and a half. So I didn't tell you guys. One of my neighbors came to my house last week. It was right after I did the walk in the park video for the uh, Japanese cherry blossom. So she came to my house and complained that my bike was too loud. I know she was referring to the Beamer because that's the bike that I rode that day. So <laughs> needless to say, in order to be a good neighbor and keep the heat down, I've decided not to uh, start my bikes up 
before 11 o'clock for the time being that's not going to be a permanent thing it's just for the time being just a piece until all the smoke clears I'll get everything situated with the purchase of the house and then there's pretty much nothing at all she can do or say once the house is bought because if I cause a bunch of commotion right now she could actually complain to the landlord or the owner of the house and maybe mess up my uh, my deal so I'm going to wait until after the house is in purchase and then not to say I don't care after that but uh, there's no stress after that that's what I do it is. That's the guy that's working in my yard. Yeah, he's, he's working with could have done. He's, I don't know where he's taking a load of dirt to, but they're getting rid of the dirt that they're pulling out of the drive now. Hopefully you all can hear me because it is extremely windy today. I hate riding a bike when it's windy because you get pushed all over the place. This boost is extremely stable, so I'm not being as pushed. I'm not being pushed as much as I would be pushed if I were on a Beamer. One day I was riding a Beamer, and I swear I thought the wind was gonna blow me off the expressway. Especially whenever I got close to a truck, I thought I was a goner. I'm definitely going to miss the booster while it's at Makoto's because I enjoy riding. This, this bike is extremely comfortable. I like the way it sits, the way it feels because I've got it dropped about an inch and a half, no, about an inch and three quarters, two inches in the front and back so it sits just right. And the fact that boosters are supposed to be sports touring bikes. I'm doing air quotes without the air quotes. I can see my reflection. I love the look of this bike. I love the look of both my bikes. heavy artillery this is what you bring in when they say release the Kraken opposite directions you'll end up sitting at this train track for like seems like an eternity Shout out to you, Nova Woto. I know you don't like it. You think I'm just a jigs and squid. But I don't care what nobody say. A higher booster is not a jigsaw. That guy's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking with my hands. But a higher booster, even though it's a GSXR, I don't consider it a jigsaw. Anything that's 1,000 and below to me is a jigsaw. We talk about the cream of the crop right here. is a beast and it does not fit into the square category oh man I can't look at 
Man Reflex no more. Got somebody out here with, look at those eight hangers on that bike right there. Ape hangers on there. I don't know how he ride that thing with his hands way up here. Don't pull out. Pause. Man, it's so nice out here today. It's not hot. It's not too cold. I've got on a this uh, perforated jacket, so the wind is is blowing through it. But it feels really nice. Yeah, the street not on the sidewalk. Weird. But it feels good. Oh, there is neutral. Well, I can never find neutral when I want it. Not that I really ever use neutral. Sometimes, uh, okay. I won't say not that I really never use neutral. Because sometimes when I'm sitting at stoplights, when I'm motor vlogging, I'll use neutral. But for the most part, I stay in, in first gear at red lights because you never know when something behind you wants to run into the back of you. But as always, when I'm not looking for neutral, I end up finding. I'm sure most motorcyclists will agree and understand what I'm saying. Oh, Paul decided to freeze up. And I had to pull over and pick I'm really getting tired of GoPro in there. Garbage. This is a new one. And it's freezing up. I don't know what it is about GoPro that causes it to freeze up, but it sucks. I need to start using my Insta360. Because I have everything I need uh, to vlog with it. But I've just been lazy and not making the change over. But as I was saying, before the GoPro pulls up, I use neutral very rarely. I try to stay in first gear as much as first possible when I stop because I don't want to get rear-ended. So if I stay in gear, that affords me the opportunity to pull away. If some idiot, well I almost say some idiot, if someone is not paying attention, they want to ramrod the back of my bike. Try to keep the video down 15, 20 minutes max. But again, huge shout out to my man. I know what won't do if this works. I appreciate the advice on the microphone. And to my boy Car Carter Allen. Carter always on cue. As soon as I drop a video, well, I swear within five, ten minutes to be dropping a video, Carter is on it. I appreciate the two of you, and I will catch you all on the next vlog. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click on the post notification bell, turn to all so you know when to drop a video, and your boy is out. Ah.